Hey guys, my name is Anish Zetta and today we're going to talk about Converse. Converses are a classic. They have been around for over a century. They even became the first official American basketball sneaker and a ton of celebrities have rocked them. For example, Sylvester Stallone in Rocky. And today I'm going to show you guys 10 ways to style Converse sneakers. I'm going to be wearing these brown Converse high tops, but it doesn't matter which color you have. You can style them the way like I did and it'll look just great. But before we start this video, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and if you enjoy this video, drop me a like down below because it has the algorithm to promote my videos to more people and I will gladly appreciate that. And without wasting any time, let's get started. So for look number one, we're starting out in a pair of grey jeans. Then I added a white t-shirt and a grey short sleeve linen shirt over it. And now this is something that I really like to. I go for a monochromatic look and then I go for a sneaker that is of a completely different color so it stands out. So as you guys can see here that we have a grey sc uh, color scheme going on in the outfit but my sneakers are brown so it's going to create a hard break at my ankles and that is exactly what I want. This is a casual not too flashy look that will still make you stand apart from the rest of the crowd. For look number 2 we are going for a simple casual vibe. We have a pair of cream chinos and I have a blue denim shirt from Levi's. So here we have the same color at the bottom half with the brown converse and the cream chinos and a different color tone on the upper half with the blue denim shirt which I think it looks really nice. In the outfit I wanted to show you that even with three pieces the shoes, the pants and the shirt I feel like you can put together an outfit that looks good and is actually a standout. In the third look since it's summertime right now here we are in a proper summer outfit in a pair of chino shorts and this pattern short sleeve shirt. It's a fairly simple look. There's nothing much going on here but that's what I was going for. I let the colors work their magic here in this outfit but other than that it's a straightforward casual look and now if you want to you can add accessories as per your liking that you feel might look great with this outfit but if you ask me a watch and a ring is enough. Look number 4, I'm going to go for a look that is a bit uncommon for Converse, a little bit of a dressed up look. We have the same cream chinos from the first look and then I'm adding a white shirt and a blue denim jacket to create a more laid back look that is still a bit dressed up than you usually expect from a Converse. This is the kind of a look that you can easily wear to a casual party or a night out and look great. Look number 5, we are starting out with black jeans, a black t-shirt and a black bomber jacket. Now as you guys can already see I went for an all black look, a more of a bad boy kind of a look that I really really enjoy doing. Of course again it's not too flashy outfit, super simple grungy look that I think you can wear anywhere casually, night outs or anything like that. Look number 6, just because we did a bad boy look just before this one doesn't mean we can't make a suit look but this time we're not going to go for the same old t-shirt and suit look this time i'm going to go for a air tie look to make it look more youthful now don't get me wrong the t-shirt and suit look will look great with a pair of converse but this time i wanted to try something new than usual so i went with an air tie look and i must say it turned out pretty good though i'm wearing a shirt it is still a very casual look and it's even casual than a t-shirt and suit look in my opinion. Next up we have a bit of a street style kind of look. So we have the same black jeans from the fifth look. Then I have a green oversized t-shirt and over that I have a darker green hoodie. Here I went for an oversized t-shirt so it will pop out underneath the hoodie to give off a street style relax kind of vibe. But you can wear a regular t-shirt or no t-shirt as well. For me. It, this is a more classic converse kind of a look. Look number 8, we have the same pair of grey jeans from the first look, a white shirt and the same bomber jacket from the fifth look over it. I wanted to make this outfit a little bit more dressed up but still keep it casual comparatively. And I think this turned out just the way I wanted and the black and white contrast just always looks great. Also if you want to, you can swap the white shirt for a pattern shirt for a more edgy or dressed up look depending upon the pattern you go for. For look 9, we're keeping things casual. We have the same black jeans from the previous look and a peach colored sweatshirt and that's it. <laughs> I mean it's a very simple, basic, casual outfit that almost anybody and I mean literally anybody 
can pull off. You can wear this outfit to almost anywhere casually. I would not suggest you to wear this to a party or something like that. But a night out or a movie night sounds great. So for the final look, we have a pair of black chinos, a white t-shirt and over that we have an olive green shirt. But this time, instead of leaving the shirt unbuttoned, I decided to leave the top three buttons unbuttoned and button the rest of them. So you can see the white t-shirt peeking out from the top. Now I usually don't go for this kind of a look but I wanted to try something new again. So I went with this look and I should say I am starting to kind of like this look now. And it's a simple straightforward way to layer in the summer. So guys that's it for today's video if you enjoyed it or found it helpful. Please leave me a like down below and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, click the subscribe button and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any single videos from me. Also follow me on Instagram, my username is at I am underscore Anush underscore Datta and I've been putting out a lot more content over there as well, especially Reels. So be sure to follow me over there, I will leave the links down in the description box below. Also if you have any video suggestions or any questions or anything actually, Feel free to leave it in the comment section below. I read all the comments and I reply to them as soon as possible. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.